good morning students in today's class we are going to learn about the pandas library for using it for data analysis so we are working on the jupyter notebook so first we have to call the pandas library so for this in the first cell we are using the keyword import pandas as pd pd is the alias name or the short form which we will be using whenever we are calling the pandas library so after that running the cell in the second cell we are going to call or upload the data set for the csv file on which we will do in the analysis so for this we have taken a data this is a variable name you can take any other name and in this we have given the function pd that is a pandas library dot read underscore csv as we are going to read the csv file and within the brackets we have provided the path for that file a file name is weather data dot csv so to remove any unicode error we have just put the r here so it will download or upload a file weather data dot csv in this jupyter notebook after that to check whether the file has been uploaded in this notebook we will using the head function so data the variable which we name which we have given dot head in this we haven't passed any argument so by default it will print the first five rows so as you can see this is our data set and in this from indexing by default it starts from zero so five rows has been printed after that to check the shape of the data set means how many rows and columns are present in this we will be using the shape function so data dot shape it will give the output 8784 means this much rows is present and eight columns are present in this data set to check the data type of each column we will be using d types function that is with data then we put a dot after that d types so it will print the data type of all the column names as you can see in this we have eight column names date time temperature c so you can see that date time has been object temperature c is float dew point float and so on after that how many column names are there if we want to check we will be using the column function so for this data dot columns so it will give the output index as the column names are date time temperature temp c dew point temp c and etc after that we will be using the data dot index function it will always gives a plus one value so as you can see the range starts from zero and it goes till eight seven eight four as it will gives the plus one index that why it's starting from zero but providing you till four it has taken up by default step one now suppose you want to check that how many unique values means unique number of uh, values are present in each column or the whole data frame or in a particular column so for this we use the function unique unique is only applied to one column at a time not on the whole data frame so uh, we can apply it to one column not on the whole data frame it gives all the unique value present in the column suppose we have that uh, we have a data set here in this we have a weather last column is there so we want to check that how many unique values or unique entries are present in that weather column so the syntax will be data as our whole data set is present in this variable and within the square bracket and inverted a single comma we give the name of that column so data and weather weather is the name of the column present in data and in this we call a function dot unique so it will as you can see it will give a array of all the unique values which are present in this weather column now the next should be suppose we want to count the number of unique values here we have printed all the unique values that what are that's and suppose you want only the count of that unique values or the number of unique values for this we will be using an unique function 
any unique can be applied on a single column as well as a whole data frame. So this is the difference between the unique and an unique. Unique applies only on the single column and an unique is applied on the whole data frame as well. It gives the number of unique values in each column. Suppose we are using the same column from the data set which is present in this variable and dot n unique we apply this function on this so it gives a 50 means 50 unique values are present in this weather column and this this syntax was for only the one column suppose you want to get the n unique or number of unique values in each column so for this for the whole data set which is present in the data variable we call this function n unique so it gives date time it has 8784 entries which are unique the next column that is temp c it has 533 values are unique and so on weather has 50 values are unique as we have already seen here so we can use the n unique to get the number of unique values in each column or in a whole data frame suppose we want to count the null values so count function gives the number of non-null values in each column and it can also be applied to a single column or a whole data frame. So suppose you want to count the non-null values in present in whole data frame. So we use the variable in which our whole data set is present that is data dot on this we applied the count function. So as you can see the non-null values are there present in each column. Or suppose we want to count only on a specific column so the syntax will be data the name of that column and after that dot count so it will give the count of the non-null values present in only this column so this is 8784 two know that how many null values are present in each column so for this we use is null function and with the sum, sum function so here we call the data variable dot is null dot sum means it will sum all the null values in each column so as you can see the output of all the columns is zero means no null values are present in this data set after that if we want to find that how many values that are not null so you for this we will use the function not null dot sum so it will give us sum of all the values that are not null so as you can see that the not null values in each column is 8784 now suppose we want to rename the column of our data set so for this we will be using a rename function so how we can use that data dot rename and in this we will give the columns the name of the column which we want to change so column is equals to the previous name so we want to change the name of weather column to the new name that is the weather type and after that we put a comma in this and in place equals to true in place equals to true means the output or the changes should be made made in the real data set also so to check that the real data set or the data set which has been present in our data is changed or not. So data dot head and in this we have given our argument two. So if we give two it means it will print only two rows. So as you can see the, the previously it was weather column name and now it has been changed to weather type. 